Now, let's take a look at this two question here, all right? I'm going to compare it, right, to, to show you something, okay? Now, if we take a look over here, all right, we see that, all right, we see that we can always multiply or sometimes uh, divide a whole number, right? That's so convenient, right? That's so convenient. But the question is, is that always the case, right? So this is where this question comes from, all right? So let's take a look at this question, okay? So it takes six people, all right? So let's see. Six people, four hours to sort and pack the eggs, all right? So let's, again, build our table to look at the overall information here first. So I have the number of people I have my time in hours, so I'm going to write hours. And I have my X. Okay, my X over here. So based on the information, I have six people will take four hours to, to, uh, to pack the X, all right? To pack the X. How long will it take for 10 people, I have 10 people now, to sort and pack the same number of X? So I have my unknown here. How many hours do I need? To pack the eggs. So again, this egg over here, it's my constant. All right, that's my constant. Okay. Now, first, again, when we see another word problem over here, let's identify are they direct or inverse? So let's take a look over here. I have six people, and it will take me four hours to pack a certain number of eggs. Okay. I have more people now. I have increased the number of people. I have more people now. By right, I should take less time to complete, correct? I have more people right now. Okay, so I should have less time. Okay, so okay, so we already identified that this is an inverse proportion. That's good. Now, let's solve this now. Now, if you would like to solve this using the table method, all right, like, like, like this one over here, take a look. What, what should we do, all right? Like, like over here, we know that 6 times 2 is 120. So it's very convenient that we know that this is going to be divided by 2. But what about here, all right? 6 multiplied with what? I will get 10. I can't multiply with any whole number like this one, like so convenient, all right? What should I do now, all right? So this is where, all right, this is where uh, you, you, you will do something with this uh, if you are using table method. So let me try to help you to build up an understanding first. So very similar to this, because we know this inverse, we know that one part will multiply a, a certain number and this part will divide a certain number and they're the same number, right? So let's write our understanding over here. So we know that over here from 6 to 10, it will be multiplying a certain number so let's call that a y and over here it should divide a certain number as well okay so based on this what can i do over here i can form my equation right from this thing over here i can form my equation so this is telling me six times y will give me 10. so in my equation i can write something like this six times y, which is 6y, is equals to 10. So based on this equation, can I find what's the value of y now? I can, right? So y, it's going to equal to 10 over 6, which will give me, you can, we can simplify this, 2 is a common factor, so I can get 5 over 3. Right? So you can check this in your calculator, alright? You can check this in your calculator, you can take 6, multiply with 5 over 3 and true enough you will get 10 okay so we have already identified this y okay which is 5 over 3 so which means to find for this x i should divide i should divide by 5 over 3 correct so again it's not always a whole number if you get stuck with this you know that you need to multiply with a fraction right so how do you know what's the fraction you can just form your equation and solve it like how i show you here so with this with your calculator very quickly you can just key in 4 divided by 5 over 3 okay 
which will give you, all right, which will give you 2.4, right, 2.4 hours, all right, 2.4 hours, okay? Now, of course, you can also, uh, this is the table method, but if you are using the equation method, then you don't have to find all these things already because equation method will solve this directly, all right? So now I will just do the equation method to show you that you will get the same answer. All right, so again, if I do my equation method, so I have 6 over 10, it's equals to 4 over x. Remember, this is an inverse proportion, so I will be flipping. Okay, I'll be flipping it. So this is going to be 6 over 10, that's equals to x over 4. All right, so again, you can solve this in your calculator. Bring this up, 6 times 4, 24, divided by 10, and true enough, and true enough, you will get 2.4 hours. So 10 people will take me 2.4 hours to complete the same task, okay? But now let me give you some bonus question. Let me give you some bonus question here, all right? So I have 2.4 hours. What? I have 2.4 hours. So what if I were to ask you to change this into hours and minutes? So most people might say, oh, that's 2 hours and 40 minutes. But if you say this is 2 hours and 40 minutes, that's wrong, all right? Because what's the unit here? That's hours, correct? So 2 hours and 40 minutes, how many, sorry, 2.4 hours, how many hours and minutes are they? So let's, Let's, let's remove the obvious one first. So 2.4 hours. So based on this number, I know there are two hours, right? So I'm going to subtract that because I know there are two hours. So what's left? What's left is I have 0 0.4 hours, okay? So 0 0.4 hours, how many minutes is that? So I would like to convert this into minutes. So I will take 0 0.4 times 60, right? Because that is what? Because one hour have 60 minutes. So 0 0.4 times 60, that's 24, right? So if I were to change this into hours and minutes, so my final answer, therefore, that will be 2 hours and 24 minutes. Okay? All right? But I'm going to show you something very cool that you can actually do with your calculator. You can actually skip all this calculation process and you can just do this. You can convert this to this directly. So what I want everyone to do is I want you to press 2.4 and press equals in your calculator first. And then I would like you to search for this button in your calculator. So this button will have like a circle and then a comma, comma, comma. Okay, so search for this button in your calculator and press that. So when you press that, you should see, okay, you should see this in your calculator screen. Two, and then there's a square here, 24, there's a square again, and then there's zero. So what does this tell you? Over here, your calculator is telling you that this is our minute and second, okay? So this button here, okay, helps you to convert hour, okay, all the decimal hours, all, right, all the hours to hour, minute, and second, okay? So this is just a quick, a cool, a cool trick lah, to share with everyone, all right? Okay?